Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. When a unit is sold and funded in full, it comes down off of our website. That lets you know that vehicle is no longer available. However, our YouTube videos stay up at all times between both of our locations. And between our two locations, we probably shoot five to six of these videos per week that go on our channel. So again, if you want our most current inventory, you'll have to visit our website. Also, Facebook and Instagram will have vehicles such as this one posted on there prior to them uh, going through a complete presentation, uh, photo and video. Uh, a lot of our cars sell before they ever even hit our website. So if you are looking for a specific year, make or model, you might wanna check out Facebook and Instagram. Maybe you can get a jump on another prospective buyer. Also, there's a link there to our gift shop here in Daytona Beach. You can find Hankster's apparel, hats, t-shirts, banners, flags, garage signs, all type of man uh, cave related type items. We ship them all over the United States, so check that out as well. Very cool uh, time capsule to uh, present to you here today. Uh, 1989 Ford Mustang, 5.0 liter, uh, the original motor. This is a one owner car. It does have power steering. It does have power brakes. And uh, of course it does have, there's your AC compressor. It does have AC. This car is original 59,000 miles on the title. Again, uh, one owner, uh, Florida car, clean Carfax, original paint. So let's check it out. So uh, the car has not been repainted, so you can see some there imperfections in the paint, uh, in the hood, in the front grill and fascia area. Obviously, when you're driving down the road, you take on road debris, you take on insects, you know, uh, flies, bees, whatever. So, uh, you know, some, some marks there up front. As far as the top of the fenders are concerned in the hood, uh, there's no areas of fade in the clear coat. There is, you know, it's the original factory paint. So uh, it was painted at the factory. I don't know if every last inch of the car is original paint. I suspect that it is, uh, but you know, it, it's, 95% original paint. Uh, if there's any paint area, maybe it might have been a touch up here or there. But uh, so the uh, driver's side uh, front fender, you got the orange pinstripe that continues onto the driver's side door and then onto the rear quarter. Uh, paint on the driver's side front fender is fantastic. Uh, again, it's the original factory paint. It's the original factory wheels. Uh, you can see those are in pretty good condition. We have still photos of those wheels up on our website, so check those out. Uh, Cooper raised white letter radial tires on all four corners. Black mirrors, I think they are, yep, they're power, so we'll find out on the test drive presentation if those mirrors work. Uh, window glass on the front windshield is nice and clear. There is a little, little, little tiny chip right there in the center, but nothing's cracked or split. How about we check out the interior? Obviously the top's down, the top is white. You will see uh, pictures obviously with the top up in our still photos. Uh, the top's in great condition. The top is also power, it does work. Uh, we put it down for the presentation. I will show you guys when we do the test drive that it does go up and down. All four windows are power, those all work. Everything in the car, to, to my knowledge, works. I haven't driven it yet, so we'll find out on the test drive what does and doesn't work. Um, interior, uh, you know, door panel's real nice. Uh, carpeting on the bottom of the door, the material on the center of the door, uh, the top of the door, the, um, all the material on the door itself is, is real nice condition. Uh, power windows, power door locks. I mentioned all the windows work because I just put them down prior to our uh, video shoot here. The original Ford factory steering wheel. Uh, let's put the seat forward here. Carpeting in the car is nice underneath, you know, it's original again. It's not uh, faded or torn. Uh, same thing we have, uh, we're dealing with cloth interior. So the uh, cloth in the rear seat is in nice condition. Uh, cloth in the front seats are both in nice condition. Center console is in good shape. Let's take a look at the carpeting underneath the uh, 
floor mat there in the front. That's in nice condition. Body lines on the car are fantastic. It's all original sheet metal. Uh, you know, so the rear quarter's nice and straight. Driver's door is nice and straight, and front fender's nice and straight. Do have a third brake light up top. The deck lid there is obviously flush with the rear quarters. LX, by the way, if I did not mention that yet. Ford designation on the deck lid. There is a little uh, scratch there by the keyhole, or somebody may have had a ring or something on and turned the, uh, turned the key and scratched the paint a little bit. Uh, reverse lights look to be in good shape. Brake lights, rear fascia. Uh, Mustang down low there, everything's in good condition. You do have a set of chrome tips there coming out of the uh, lower fascia in the rear. How about the trunk? There you have it. Uh, this is parade boot. Uh, the uh, car cover that will come with the car. Uh, the rest of the trunk's just carpet. You do have some miscellaneous uh, parts receipts. Nothing in there of, of, of major significance. There is a uh, Ford, uh, 1989 Ford Mustang little manual that you would have found on the rack at the dealership back in 1989 when the car was uh, purchased. Passenger side, looking down the rear quarter, uh, in nice condition. Uh, Passenger side door lines up nice and tight. Front fender's nice and straight. Again, you have that orange body line going down the side of the car. That all lines up perfectly. Uh, wheels. There will be a picture of all four wheels on our website, so you can take a good hard look at those. I'm not, you know, you can see there's a, a little bit of dimples. Oh, that's actually just uh, water uh, from where the car was parked outside, and we brought it into the cold air conditioning. Now the wheel, the rims are sweating. So the door panel on the uh, passenger side, same thing, uh, real nice material there in the center of the door, uh, real nice carpeting there down low, all of your uh, material up top here, nothing's, this is like a vinyl or a leather material at the top of the door here, nothing's faded, nothing's torn. Center console, fantastic condition. Passenger side seat, I mean the interior in this car is impeccable, it's, it's really in, in great shape. Again, the uh, door closes nice and tight. The uh, body lines on the car are real good. Again, keep in mind the paint is original, so I showed you, you know, the, the scratch in the back and a couple uh, different areas here. But all in all, the, the paint on the car is really nice. This car really presents itself well. Uh, these are getting harder and harder to come by, you know. And, and what I say by mean by these is the fact that. It's an unmolested unit. It, you know, original motor, original transmission, original color, original paint, original interior, one owner. Everything is, uh, you know, desirable about this car. These uh, mid 80s, late 80s Camaros and Mustangs, they are coming up in value. So this is definitely a sports car that you can buy, you can enjoy, um, and at the same time, it's an investment. And it, you know, gets a lot of attention. Uh, generates a lot of conversation. Uh, classic cars, collector cars are very cool. I just showed you a quick walk around presentation of this 1989 Ford Mustang, but I encourage you guys to come in person to our Daytona Beach showroom. This way you can see for yourself what this car presents like, the paint, the interior, the undercarriage, uh, how it drives, we'll let you drive it, we'll put it on the rack for you, we'll let you go through the interior, look at the paint, go through the documentation. Uh, we do it on a daily basis here in Daytona. We have a beautiful 25,000 square foot facility. All of our cars are indoors. It's air conditioned. We have a gift shop. Lots of cool stuff. So, so make it a little two, two, three day trip or some people even make it a week long trip. They come, they buy a car and then they drive five miles and they enjoy the beach for the week and then fly home. So with that being said, a lot of people have bought two or three cars from me and still have never been to the uh, showroom here in Daytona. People continue to do business sight unseen. Uh, we do at least 25 a month that way, month after month. Um, and we're very successful at it. We've been doing it for a number of years. Uh, we have longevity in this business. Uh, so hopefully that tells you something about our business model and about the quality of cars we put through our showroom. Without further ado, let's take this uh, 1989 Ford Mustang around the building. I'll show you the original floor pans and all the originality from underneath. 
Uh, and then it's a Friday afternoon here in Daytona. We'll drop the top while well, it's already dropped. Uh, but I'll show you guys the, the power top working out there and then we'll take it out on the road and we'll drive it. Okay, we're underneath our all original 1989 Ford Mustang. So let's check it out. Of course you have disc brakes up front. Uh, the undercarriage of the car is all original. So we did paint the exhaust pipes and the catch. You know, they had surface rust on them. Uh, the rest of the car is exactly what you see. Uh, exact, well, what you see is exactly how we bought it, in other words. So cross member, uh, oil pan, suspension components. I'm sorry, we, we painted the uh, exhaust pipes here from here to here, and we painted the uh, bottom of the bell housing and the bottom of the tranny pan because those were surface rusted. Everything else on the car is just like it was when we bought the car. So uh, original factory floor pans, beautiful undercarriage. We'll check out, see the tranny pans not leaking at all. Tail shaft seals not leaking at all. There's no pinholes, rust holes, rod holes in the exhaust pipes. It is a Flowmaster system on here. Drive shaft in good condition. Drum brakes in the rear. Rear end looks to be in good shape, not leaking or anything like that. Look at that, all factory up there around your, uh, you know, where your trunk area meets your uh, uh, back seat area. Uh, tires. Not dry rotted, not down to the wear bars. Plenty of tread left on those Cooper Cobras. Uh, the uh, Flowmaster chrome tips there. Obviously, the exhaust system being a Flowmaster is not factory. It didn't come from the factory with a Flowmaster system. So that is part of the car that, that is not original. But obviously, original paint, original interior, original floor pans, original motor, original transmission. So, um, you know, besides the exhaust system and probably the battery and of course the tires and, and whatnot, everything else is original to the car. Let's go over our payment options, shall we? Uh, cash buyers, you can physically bring us cash if you choose to, if you're visiting our Daytona showroom. You can also uh, cashier's check, bank wire transfer. Bank wire transfers are most common form of payment simply because the funds are there, you know, within a matter of hours. And then of course, um, you know, we can start processing the car that much sooner. Financing, the collector car lenders we work with, we do not offer in-house financing. It is through a bank. The collector car lenders we work with will do up to an eight year loan on this particular car. 10% uh, down is gonna be your minimum. And then the remaining balance over that five to eight year period, whatever it is you get approved for. Approvals are based on, of course, your credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, you know, everything an underwriter normally looks at for a typical car loan or home loan or boat loan or whatever kind of loan you're looking to get. Once, uh, so if you're financing, 48 hours generally is the uh, window of uh, from start to finish from when you start your initial loan paperwork till the time that we're funded. Um, as long as you're quick with your paperwork, we can be funded in 48 hours. You drag your feet a little uh, and getting some of the information back to the lender, it might be an, an extra day. Once we are funded in full, the car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. This process is recorded and you get a copy of it on the keychain when the car arrives, along with this video you are, you are watching right now and all the photos we took in the showroom of the car. It's a little keepsake for you. Once the car is through inspection, the guys say it's ready to go, we will call for a carrier for pickup. Generally pickup is 24 to 48 hours uh, from the time the guys tell me it's ready. If you are in a more remote location, rural area, or you're experiencing maybe weather, ice storms, snowstorms, it could be longer uh, for us to get a carrier here. You know, carrier doesn't want to go to Ohio in the middle of a friggin' blizzard, you know. Uh, so, but generally it's 24 to 48 hours to get a carrier here um, to pick up the car. Of course, if you have your own carrier or you're coming to get it yourself, we'll let you know when the car's ready and you can come pick it up. And of course, if we are shipping the car for you, delivery time to you is going to be based on, obviously, how many other vehicles are on board, where you're located in the United States or in the world for that matter, um, and so on and so forth. But uh, we'll keep you posted on that the entire way. Let's set this 1989 
Ford Mustang down on the ground. We'll take it out in the Daytona sunshine and we'll see how the car runs out. Inside of our 89 Ford Mustang. Uh, first things first, let's drop the top. Power. Okay. I'm not gonna bore you with windows. All four do work. I don't know why the back one's the only one that's up, but let's put that down. Okay, all four windows do function. Um, door locks. Horn. Uh, tack. 59,946 is the original miles. Fuel gauge is working. Turn signals. Driver's side. Passenger side. Um, 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 oh, there's the little chip in the windshield I told you about earlier. Wipers. Uh, let's look at the AC. It's a Florida car, so I'm going to imagine it blows cold. We're going to find out right now. And it is blowing cold, but it could probably use a little shot of Freon. It's not the coldest. Um, probably needs a little charge. So we will charge it, and we will make sure it's blowing ice cold, I promise. Like I said, it's blowing cold, just not cold enough. We got a radio. And look, if you can find a tape somewhere, you can put a tape in there. Let's see if these uh, power mirrors work. Uh, let's see. There we go. Up, down, left, right. Yep. Okay. Let's see the passenger side. Well, they function. It's a little slow. They both work. I think I need to clean the contacts because it only wants to work sometimes. You know, it kind of gets you have to press it and press it and press it. So it might be, uh, we've had these Mustangs through before. If you take this off, there's like four prongs on the back. You clean the contacts and they're good to go. But they are both functioning. You can see the motors are working. The uh, switch might need a little cleaning. Uh, E-brake. Um, I'm just looking here. It doesn't look like there's tilt wheel. No tilt. Oh, that surprises me. Uh, I told you the uh, in the showroom the interior is impeccable. It's really in, in real nice shape. Uh, hopefully you, uh, you know, we didn't do the video presentation with the top up. Take a good look at the uh, still photos of the top. The top's in great condition. It's power. We showed you that. Um, let's drive it to see how it runs out. Inside our 89 Mustang. Great uh, response in the steering wheel. There's no tire vibration. There is no drivetrain vibration. Everything's a uh, real, real nice ride to the car. Let's see what the brakes are like here. Traffic light. Yeah, no vibration, pulsation in the brakes whatsoever. Here we are at idle. Car's idling real nice. It's not stalling. Batteries uh, charging properly, temperatures coming up, fuel gauge is reading. I'm not going to get crazy with it. We have a lot of traffic here for Bike Week. There's a lot of law enforcement out, so we're just going to drive it like a normal human being today. And I promise you guys some good test drive videos next week. Just show you how the tranny performs, how the car runs out. Tranny shifts nice and smooth. I doubt you can hear it with all the wind noise from the convertible top, but obviously I got traffic in front of me. We're at about 50 miles an hour. Uh, so this person in front of me is turning now. Like I said, it's, it's hard this week with Bike Week to get test drive videos in. There is a lot of traffic, but we do our best. If I don't put a test drive video in, you guys will complain that oh, I don't want to see it run, you know? So we're doing the best we can, so bear with us. Um, but tax working, 60 miles an hour, 
let go of the wheel. Car tracks nice and straight. Well, I'm coming up on a turn, so I can't do it right this minute. But when we have a straightaway, I'll show you again. Again, I'm coming up on more traffic here, but the uh, car presents very well. Uh, again, a nice time capsule with the original interior, the original paint, the all original drivetrain, um, power top, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. So you have a, uh, a, a nice sports car that has all the bells and whistles that we're used to today, right? Not every last bell and whistle. Now you have air conditioned seats and, you know, Bluetooth radios and Lord knows what else. But um, this Mustang's, uh, you know, very well equipped for what you would have purchased from the dealership back in 1989. Uh, right color combination, nice car, automatic center console, white convertible top. A car that's going to continue to appreciate so you can have a nice sports car you can enjoy it on those sunny days drop the top here in Florida we have a lot of those sunny days and um, you know really enjoy it and, and not take a bath when you go to trade it in or, or sell it or get rid of it you know like I said this to me this is an investment these are the cars that are coming up right now these uh, 80s Mustangs and these 80s Camaros we're selling them as fast as we can buy them 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number. Oh, just bike week. Is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. This car being a convertible, I guarantee you there'll be 100 photos of this car on our website today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12-month, 12,000-mile powertrain warranty. That's internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Uh, it does not cover batteries, it does not cover brakes, starters, oil pan gasket leaks, you know, things like that. It's just for major mechanical breakdowns. You do not have to take it to a Ford dealership. You do not have to bring it to Florida or to Hangster's Hot Rods. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. So you could probably take it to the same uh, technician that's working on your daily driver. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. That warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We can arrange the shipping for you. You will just pay the driver on delivery with cash or check. They do not accept credit cards. Also, if you have your own carrier, maybe you're a collector, you have a carrier you've used in the past, you had a good experience with, you can use them, no problem. We don't make any money off the shipping, we don't mark it up, we simply provide it as a convenience to our customers, to our buyers. I'm gonna get drowned out here. Yeah. 50 cent. So, uh, it's not distracting at all. If you're local to us here in Central Florida, you are more than welcome to come pick the car up from our showroom and drive it home. We would love to earn your business add you to our growing customer base not only throughout the united states but throughout the entire world one last time hangsters is in daytona beach florida you are in the middle of bike week here in daytona we would love to earn you as a customer earn your business add you to our growing customer base not only throughout the united states the state of florida but throughout the entire world hangsters hot rods daytona beach florida check us out